Something has caught my attention, and it's the Pyramids of Giza. So this is the Great Pyramid of Giza. But I was looking at this um, little book I have, The Emerald Tablets of Thoth, the Atlantean. And it's really interesting what I read in there about UFOs, more or less a spaceship. Raised eye to light, the children of Kim, deep neath the rocks I buried my spaceship, waiting for the time when man might be free. Now that's interesting, it really is. This is even more interesting. Over the spaceship erected a marker in the form of a lion, yet like unto man. There neath the image rest yet my spaceship, forth to be brought when need shall arise. So underneath what we call the great sphinx, yet he said it was a lion. Let's, let's read the rest of this. Know ye, O man, that far in the future invaders shall come from out of the deep. Then awake, ye who have wisdom. Bring forth my ship and conquer with ease. Deep neath the image lies my secret. Search and find in the pyramid I built. So he said underneath, a lion. Could it be that this indeed used to be a lion? A figure of a lion, a big lion. And someone, for some reason, chipped away at that statue and carved a different face. Could it be? Because Really, if you think about it, the legs extend so far out and they're great big lion's feet. I am beginning to think that somebody has rewritten history, chipped away at that image that we know today as the great Sphinx. And they've rewritten history. They recreated history to retell history. That's what I'm thinking. Because these legs, look how big the legs would be. And the body, we know a lion has a long body. But to put the image that they did on top of it, I think it's very plausible. I really do to say that they chipped away at the lion that was there. Chipped away completely. Look at this big lion's feet, and then boom, they thought, oh, we think we'll just chip away and just put this face right here, and they'll never know that there really was a lion there. That's what I'm thinking. And if that be so, we must ask ourselves, why? Why would you change the image if there was nothing to it? Why would you want to go back and rewrite the history Recarve out the history to match a certain narrative. See, that's the question. Why? I think I know why, and I think a lot of other people know why. That there must have been truth in what was written. And they didn't want to talk about the lion. The lion that was right here. They didn't want people to know about the true history. So they wrote their own history. And then you have to ask, who is they? Who are they? Why did they do it? Why did they do it? Why take a massive statue like that, which obviously looked like a lion, and carve out a different image? That's the question. Now, let's think about this. I'm going to show some more pictures that I just gathered off the Internet in a search. You can search and you can find all kinds of images um, for documenting what we're looking at. So if this was buried beneath the sand, the body and stuff, 
you imagine how many thousands of years probably that it's been setting there uh, but then the head of it look at the head the head really does not look like it belongs I'm just being honest with you it does not look like it belongs at all and it looks like they have went through great lengths to do that to, to like I really think I really do think that they put a different head on this and that it used to be now look at this they look like aliens look at the reconstruction that's being done and everybody is coming to get their pictures taken I really um I really do wonder because I feel deep within my spirit there is something very very wrong with this version of history I really do there's something else that I find interesting are all the books and or movies that have a lion in it as the king okay that's what I'm thinking of and then you have this from the Bible one of the elders said to me weep no more behold the lion of the tribe of Judah the root of David has conquered and then you have the movie the Lion King so why do they depict lions as kings then I wonder what is the significance of this lion gate okay what's the significance of that because there is some kind of significance then we got this talk about Lemuria I may not even be saying it right um, but they say it, it it was like a, a lost continent or something like that some even said you know what if it was Atlantis but you know this history right here is literally you can't hardly find anything on it and um, we're looking at these maps and you know some people say that there's like lion looking features uh, to the Lemurians but you know everything is so interesting and, and why do we have why would these maps even exist why would there even be talk about the ancient Lemurians um, why would there even be talk about it if there was not some type of truth to it do we really have a history that has been hidden I really am beginning to think yes and there's so much that has been hidden